Are we here? Oh, you shooting? Yeah. Okay. Hi, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tsepo Magwaba, but you can call me the Mad Guy T. I can't believe guys that we have reached 2,000 subscribers. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> well, even though I was not posting when that happened, I noticed it and I was like, yay. So thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. Please do make sure that you share these videos with other people so that we can spread the messages to the masses so that people can be motivated, we can laugh together, we can be on this journey together. So today's video actually, it is something that people have been were asking about it for quite a while and different people on different occasions but it was something that I always dismissed because I felt like the person that I was back then and the person that I am right now are two different people so I didn't want to come in front of the camera and be a fraud and all of that but I realized that you know the older one gets the more experienced and the more they can handle stuff differently so when I started the channel I had a lot of imposter syndrome and I felt like I, even though I knew that I belonged in medical school, but most of the time I felt like there were other people who were better, like who were more deserving of this space. But now I'm fully aware that I am also deserving of being here. So, but no, that's not what the video is about. In today's video, a lot of people have asked me like, how did you get such good results in BSc? Because we know BS is not a very easy subject, uh, course, it's very difficult, there's a lot of people and then there's a lot of challenges that science students go through on a daily basis, but all in all I feel like the degree is durable, I know that it's one of those degrees that has a lot of higher rates of dropouts people usually don't finish their degree because they get discouraged along the way because the course gets too much and then most people you know they go into bsc wanting to get good results so that they can get into medicine and then when that doesn't happen they get discouraged as well so i'm going to share a couple of tips that helped me when i was doing bsc to get good results. One of the first things that I want us to talk about, I made a couple of points, so I am going to keep on referring to it to make sure I don't, I don't speak nonsense. So one of the first things that I feel that it is very important that will contribute to your success is that you need to have an end goal in mind. It's very good for you to go through life on a day-to-day -day basis and say, okay, I will just live each day as it comes. But if you have an end goal in mind, that keeps you motivated, that keeps you moving. When I did, when I started PSC, I knew what my end goal was. I knew that the end goal was for me to get into medicine. And that kept me going. Even on days that I felt discouraged, I knew that the end goal was to get through medical school. So that kept me going all the time. So have the end goal in mind. That is something that I struggled with when I got into medical school because when I was here and then I didn't have that end goal in mind, I got discouraged by a lot of noise. And now that I am so close to the finishing line, I have an end goal in mind now. I know that I'm working towards the finishing. So that keeps me going. So have an end goal in mind and don't be too hard on yourself. We understand that the class has 500 other people and then probably 350 of them also want to get into medicine. So that shouldn't be something that concerns you. That should be, should, shouldn't be something that worries you because you are there for yourself. So. Focus on yourself, focus on your end goal, focus on your own dreams, your own journey, your own pace, and then just know that even if there's 350 other people wanting, into, wanting to get into this course that you want to get into, even if there's 10 spaces, if one of those spaces is yours, you will get it. That's just how life it is. You know, 
things that are meant for you will come to you yeah? work regularly it's very important for us to work regularly i know like most of the time you slack and then you feel that you will make up for it as the time goes but that's not always the case the thing about that is very different from science and medicine is that in medicine they do, we do blocks so the blocks take like let's say five weeks you do this block the next four weeks you do another block so you are forced to work all the time whereas with science we do semester courses in which our modules run parallel to each other so it's very easy for you to slack the first two months and then by March you want to work so hard and then you see if that will be my phone is swinging Stop. okay cool as I was saying um, it's very easy for us to get distracted and fall behind so try to stay on track and you will be okay I think I lost my thought process because of that one cool. <laughs> but it's fine I'll just chop and cut here and there so when it comes to tutorials it's very important for you to attend your tasks let me give you a very specific tip when i was a practical and facilitator when i was doing my postgraduate studies and i also was tutoring during the tasks what happened was a lot of the students came with answers from their friends and submitted those that was fine as long as you get all your marks I'm happy as long as you show that those tasks, it's memos, do it, submit. But the trick is if you go into those tasks and you do the tasks during those hours that are dedicated to them, that will be very advantageous to you because when your dummies are there and they are there to assist you, you can be able to ask questions because what used to happen with us was that we were given memos but before that happened we were given the questions that you guys get and then we would prepare the answers to those so i would get into a tag thoroughly prepared and then students who wanted to ask questions i would make sure that you know what i will answer all the questions that you have if you're really struggling we would even do those problems with you guys so it's not even a thing of saying if you don't have that memo you won't get your full marks you still get your full marks because if you get a good demi they will ensure that you understand the work so when you get to the test you know the work because you did it very well during the test, and then you aced it because you could understand the concepts because medicine we have to remember a lot of theory in science we had to remember a lot of concepts a lot of application and then during that we had to we were given an opportunity to do that so if you can attend all your tasks attend all your practicals and make sure that you prepare for them and make sure that if you don't understand things you use your practical facilitators because they are there they are being paid and most of them actually enjoy what they are doing so why don't you just use them to ensure that you understand the concepts very well another very very important point was that when i was doing science we were given three test opportunities each semester per module so what would happen was that we were given an opportunity to write three tests but only two counts but now here's the trick from all those three you didn't have to write all three as long as you wrote any two you will be fine so the problem is most people because they were slacking in the beginning decided okay i'm not gonna write test one so i'll write only two and three but now here's the trick test one has little content on it so the chances of you doing very well in that are quite high test two has the same amount of content as test one because what used to happen with us was that the content that was asked in test one was not the content that was asked in test two so the two had their own different contents but now when you get to test three they ask everything so most people go to test three and it didn't do so well but if you had done one and two and one of them didn't go well you'd still have a chance to redeem yourself with test three so for me i would say 
Always, if you are given options to write multiple tests and then one of them doesn't count, always write the first ones so that you know that if anything happens with those two, then you still have the third one. Imagine you skip, let's say, one or you skip two and then it happens that during three you are really sick and there's not sick tests, you'll have to just push yourself. And remember, if you have an end goal in mind, which is to get into medicine, you need to start being proactive, you need to start uh, doing things that are in line with getting into medicine. So when your friends are slacking, you need to be the one who carries their books and say, I am going to go and study because you have an end goal in mind. Which brings me to the next point. When I was doing science, I was staying at home. So I had two friends, they were also staying at home. So the three of us, it was Debs, it was Dudu and I, we used to come to school at the same time every day. So we had routine. So every day when my nephew was being dropped, at preschool at seven o'clock i would come to campus sometimes my classes would start at 10 but now here's the trick between eight o'clock and 10 i would be i would have chance to review the work before going to class but if i would only were to come at 10 i wouldn't have that chance so that's another trick have a regular schedule and stick to it if you have to wake up at eight every day do that don't listen to me because I'm not doing that right now because I've gotten a bit lazier as I get older. I don't, if I have my class at 10, I'll probably wake up at 9. But I'm trying to work on a routine. If your body knows that 8 o'clock every day, we are starting our day. We can pre read those lectures. After classes, you know, you go back to the library, you do the work while it's still fresh, and then you remember it. Because one thing is science is very nice it's not like medicine medicine they would give you five lectures of the same subject per day every day for five weeks and expect you to be on par with the work but with science you'd find that one module you would have three classes of them in a week you'll do one on monday do one on tuesday let's say do another one on thursday so your lectures are spaced out you have time another point uh, we were talking about staying up to date with the work. So here's another important important trick that most people are not aware of. Go to all your classes. I know that sometimes lectures can be quite boring, especially the old professors who are just there, monotonous, one tone and all of those, but go to their classes because when I was doing science, I noticed something. Every time the class went smaller and smaller because remember we were like 500 in the class in fifth year no in first year 500 in the class in first year and in second year the numbers go down to let's say 120 because people branch out into a different field and then third year we go down again to 80 because people branch out further and then on us we become 20 so you can imagine the numbers go down and down and down but now it is very important to go to lectures because every time that the lecture comes to class and they notice that not everyone is here especially when only a few people are there they start giving out pointers and their notes they won't give you the scope in science if you like it they will say read chapter 1 2 and 3 and 4 and then that's it but in class they will say okay under chapter 1 you don't have to read pages 5 to 10 uh, it's not essential knowledge uh, when you get to let's say page 50 this is quite important they'll even say take note of this this is quite NB and then don't take note of that and then you can say that your friend will be in class and they will tell you but your friend won't tell you everything because they won't sit down with you and say oh minute for minute this is what they said was NB this is what they said was not NB but because you are not in class you won't know what is important what is not important so you get home you end up reading tons and tons of pages which are confusing which are frustrating you become so frustrated you can study this but the reason is you're not in class people are told don't read that you wasted all your time and effort 
trying to understand something that you're not even supposed to read so go to classes lectures love it after class go to the front ask questions if you want to ask questions if you are shy like some of us who can ask questions you email them you know it's so nice when you are sitting on your phone and then you email in your lecture and be like uh i feel that i did not understand this part one two three they might invite you to, to their office and say come let's talk about this they might address it the next time in class before the lecture starts they will they might also answer you on the email and if you are very specific to say when you said one two three i did not understand the lecture understand that the student was in class so i can answer them because they are really making an effort so that's quite important and also when you also go to class it's very very important people don't realize that where you sit in class it's important a lot of things are happening at the back there's a lot of distractions people are chatting people are watching movies and then it's just disruptive and then you find some of us if i were to sit at the back i'll probably start end up shouting at people and we don't want that so sit somewhere where you'll be closer to the front if you can sit at the front front it's fine not everyone will be able to do that you can sit somewhere in the middle somewhere where you are you're going to hear the lecture very well somewhere in which you are going to be able to interact with the lecturer hear what they're saying and not zone off we do zone off into the front i know sometimes we fall asleep but you know try to stay as possible to the front try to stay to sit as close as possible to the front <laughs> my english data bundles are depleting so yes do that try to stay as close as possible to the front and please ask your lectures if it's possible for them to record the lectures it's always great to listen to the lectures while you are studying to be like okay maybe i didn't understand this so i could listen to this but i know most of them might say no i'm not gonna record because they know once they start recording then the students don't come so when that happens i used to have a trick i used to have my voice recording with me on and because i sat in front i'll just just switch on my voice recording during those years and just put my phone there and it would record the whole session and then afterwards i would always go back and listen to be like okay this is what they were saying because most of us we want to listen and write so while you are writing the lecture must say something else and then you didn't get that part because you were busy concentrating on the other one so ask them is it possible for you guys to record the sessions if they say no just want to record the sessions and then one more important trick use youtube you use youtube to find this video so definitely you can use youtube to find all your study content on it best believe each and every topic out there in science there's always going to be an indian guy with a very heavy indian accent explaining it quite well for you in less than 10 minutes so use your resource and most importantly surround yourself with good company if possible find people who have let's say similar goals as you you know when your guys are in the same class and you have the same end goal in mind you'll push each other you'll motivate each other so find your people always if you need help when you need help reach out to your seniors reach out to your demons your practical facilitators sometimes they might not want to help you right away because they are busy with their research projects and then they might be frustrated but try your final years as well try your lecturers as well because the thing is once you start consulting with the lecturers you start building good relationships with them so that when you apply for postgraduate studies they remember you and then they keep they can put your name forward because with me when i was applying for my honors i already approached a specific lecturer to become my supervisor and then they were very keen because they knew me i was a class clown i'm still am <laughs> so you do that you do you build relationships with your lecturers you show dedication don't be too extra people don't like extra people 
especially when they do too much less is more but be visible have the end goal in mind and always be kind to yourself just because you didn't do well in this test doesn't mean it's the end of the world doesn't mean you have to mope about it for too long it's good to be sad about it because it sucks especially when you worked hard but be able to bounce back and give yourself credit for the things that you achieve we go through so much we are battling a whole pandemic at the moment so always be kind to yourself we are going to end this very specific video right here but i am going to do another video in which i'm going to give you guys a glimpse and let's say into this mbshb program because your faith is done with all his theory blocks of mbshb so i'm only left with hospital right up until we graduate so be on the lookout for that video on the next one and also wait 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 i also have another video that i want to shoot if you go to my instagram at the mad guy t and then you go to my story highlights i'm going to create a very specific story highlight and call it um Met cool questions go to that one and leave your questions there and in my next videos i'll address those questions so i'll always dedicate let's say two minutes to address one or two questions and then do another video and right up until we meet up again on another on the next video please don't forget to comment like subscribe share and do follow me on all my instagram on my social media platforms bye <laughs>